Okay. We're rolling. We're, roll we're doing this rolling. I don't know what just happened, but the camera just died. So we're going to say everything we just said again. Well, <laughs> I have a shitty short-term memory, so I just forgot everything I just said. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Good. So we just got out of uh, the, the office, office party. Christ office Christmas party. Office Christmas party. Um, yeah, we just needed something to see this weekend. Uh, to yes. To, uh, to prepare us for Rogue One. Rogue One, uh, yeah, so... This is the road to Rogue One. Yes, so, so why not an obligatory Christmas movie to get us ready for Star Wars? Yeah. Because they're totally related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Star Wars and Christmas go well together, as we as we know. <laughs> yes, 15 minutes of Wookiee speak with no <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> Fuck you, Lumpy. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, um... Our whole family. All of them. So, all the itchy... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So that was saying? our review of this Star Wars holiday special. Yes. Um, so, uh... Office Christmas Party. Um, if you saw the trailer, you pretty much knew what you were getting into. Yeah, it was exactly movie. what it said it, on the it, tape. It, yeah, I like a movie that doesn't lie to me. Yes, so that's, that's true. Disney. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, so... We were saying how, like, like, the office party was, like, like the one untapped thing left yeah. in, in of, like, the Christmas movie. Yes, at least not merged with any other, you know. Yeah. Like, Die Hard did it, but that was, it wasn't the main focus, yeah. it was just, you know. The party it, was incidental. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a premise for, a lot, for the terrorists to show. Yeah, up. but this is, uh, but, yeah, you pretty much... You pretty much get what you see. It's like yeah. uh, they, they're trying to throw a Christmas party to impress a guy who they want an account with so they can save the company. And then all hell breaks loose and yes. people get punched and there were hookers and blow and... Yeah, lots uh, of blow. <laughs> and uh, the, iron, through a snow the, blower. the Iron Throne. <laughs> which yes. we, were we, we were not sure where they got the Iron yes, Throne the from. Iron throne. <laughs> but... I, I feel like that was like in the background somewhere, and I just missed it because it just appeared. Yeah, it just appeared, in, and all of a sudden he of was the like office. dressed as Santa, <laughs> sitting people on his lap on the Iron Throne, H handing out uh, massagers yeah, because they were looking for uh, gifts to give out. And, yes, uh, it was clearly a massager, but you know, I don't know what the deal is with massage makers shaping their massagers like that. But you know, I, I'm not an expert. Um, anyway. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> hey, it's not my fault! <laughs> hey, it's not too late to look on Amazon for a one of those last-minute gift items. Yeah, I think they still got their sales going on. For that special person <laughs> in your life. Yeah, anyway, um... T.J. Miller was hilarious. Yes, he was. As usual. I love T.J. Miller, because he, he's one of those few people that has the, the gift of the, just any... just speaking... Just him speaking is yes. funny. Um, like I said, he's able to walk that fine line between uh, deadpan and completely batshit bonkers. Yeah. Uh, so. um, we uh, Jason Bateman was good because he played like uh, he was the straight he, man. He was he was the straight. He, he was like an uncool dad. Yeah. Who uh, was just like uh, he, he tried to do fun stuff, but then it's like he was he was either reluctant to or it just turned out very stupid. And yes, that's true. He was the straight man in this movie, which is not really saying much considering everybody in this movie was fucking crazy. Yes. It was in asylum. He, he was the one, like, anchor to reality, I think. Yes, he was the least crazy. <laughs> he was the le yeah, least yes. crazy. But the queen inmate in the asylum was, of course, Kate McKinnon. Yes. McKinnon oh was great in this movie. She played uh, the HR lady. Yes. And she was... She started out just like every 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 time somebody did something, she'd be like, "Excuse me, excuse me, uh, you have to you have to file a uh, claim form." And da, 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 da. It's twenty-seven like, B stroke six. Yes, <laughs> that, that that is in violation of office code. Uh, you're not supposed to have uh, you're uh, supposed to have non-denominational uh, Christmas stuff, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. she was she was very much the opposite of the of her character from that other movie that we will not speak of. <laughs> yes, true, but it proves my point about that movie that we will not speak of is the fact that she yes. is, in fact, hilarious. She is. She really is. She is. When she, and when she's given a great script to work with, she utterly rocks the shit out of it. And Absolutely. Yeah, she totally brought she, it for this yeah, one. Yeah, definitely. 
So now okay. this is attempt number four. I don't Apparently, know. Apparently, okay. Rob's camera's possessed. This is bad because this is my only camera that I have to film everything with. Yeah. So I need to. Uh, I, I need Santa Claus to bring me a new one. Uh, anyway, we'll go to the Peter route, Pan route. Everybody clap. Fuck we'll clap. Stay alive. Stay alive. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, we'll st we stopped at Jennifer Aniston. Yes. Jennifer Aniston in this movie was hilarious. She. <laughs> 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 this is stupid. My stay alive, please. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Jennifer Aniston in this movie was hilarious because she was she was like the comedic villain. She was um, yes. she was Clay's sister who got the short end of the stick from her rich family. Yeah. Um, yeah. Clay's dad loved Clay and hated um, Carol, which yeah. is what her name was. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas Carol. I just <laughs> got that. <laughs> anyway. Oh God! I didn't even realize. <laughs> anyway. Um, I wonder if she hated her family. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> her, I don't know. Their dad seemed kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, she, there was this... She was, uh, like, a total bitch, but, like, funny stuff kept yes, happening to her. Uh, yes. She like, was still likable, even at, though she was the villain. At the airport. Um, the cinnamon. She, yeah. yeah, she was waiting for her flight, but everything got canceled because of the snow, and then some little girl stole her Cinnabon. Yes. Uh, and... <laughs> She goes, she goes, what's your name, little girl? And she said her name, and she called, she picked up her phone, she goes, hello, Santa Claus? Yeah, don't bring her any presents this year. Yeah. <laughs> and while she's asleep, take the doll she's holding, too. <laughs> she's like, Merry Great. Christmas, and then she leaves. Yeah. <laughs> she's... <laughs> um, uh, also, Rob Cordry, we talked about him. Yes, on, like, Rob Cordry was take, hilarious. I think. Yes. Um, yeah, Rob Cordry was great. Uh, I love Rob, Rob Cordry in general, but he was just... What what was he in the he was uh, customer service customer service yeah and he was he was like completely neurotic yes <laughs> I love that because like he's this is your customer service guy because oh he's much, he's better, much on better on the phone, the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah and speaking of uh, the guy in question who they were pitching the Walter uh, was his yeah, name yeah Walter oh boy <laughs> that poor guy yeah um so what happened was. Uh, one of the guys who works in the office kept saying, I have a girlfriend, and nobody believed him, and he didn't actually have yeah. one. So he hired uh, an escort yes. to pretend to be his girlfriend. So uh, she was selling some guys some cocaine, and she left a bag of cocaine by this blower that they have to make fake snow. Yes. And, <laughs> and it was in conspicuous little baggies, and of course she put her yeah. bag of cocaine in fact, I with the rest of the snow. I remember someone in the audience saying that, oh, those look like cocaine. And I'm like, is, is that going to come into play? And sure, sure enough, enough, it did. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so and, <laughs> oh boy. someone put the bag of, of cocaine in the blower, and it just happened to be turning towards Walter. As and he's just, walking by, <laughs> right in his face. Oh, my God. Oh, and boy. He, and then he flipped out. Yes. He, he went, for, he, he, the party mode switched I on, let's that. say. Let's go get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Take, I don't even remember. Okay, so because my camera appears to be dying, which is horrible because this is the only camera I have and it's the only camera I film with, Shit. I think we should wrap this up. Yes. Uh, so. This is after repeated attempts, we're yeah, just going to end this turkey. Yeah, yeah, everyone in this movie was funny. Um, it was pretty much what we expected. Yes. Uh, we, we liked it. We definitely recommend it if you need something to watch this Christmas and you're tired of the same old stuff yeah um i don't like i said before i don't see this becoming a staple of uh you know a christmas classic Neither like do I. like national lampoon or uh die hard or anything like that or a christmas um, story a christmas story or black christmas yeah or same the director Grinch, you know etc etc <laughs> depending on your tastes mm -hmm. um but yeah uh we we definitely enjoyed it quite a bit and uh i, I don't think i have anything else to add to that do you do you have anything no to say? no all right, all right. So uh, recommend the office Christmas party. Uh, now I have to go call in some favors so I can potentially buy a new camera so I can film uh, some stuff for before Christmas. Mm. So uh, I have to go do that. I will see you guys later. Later.